So, uh, beat producers, talk to me. What top top what? Top five beat producers. Top five. All right, cool. So, <laughs> so Alchemist would be in there. I'm not doing any order. Oh, don't you know, yeah. I would be in there. I never know. I, I like the mystery of grabbing a bunch of things and samples and not knowing where it's gonna go. So usually what I'm starting with and what I finish with is just completely different. You gotta do the same thing over and over until you really get uh, a technique or become precise. But really, there really is no method to the madness. Uh, I try to get inspiration, try to reach for some inspiration that's beyond me. Like I just try to be the, the circuit, the conduit where the, where the energy travels through. So I'll, you know, kind of reach up for some energy that will go through me because it's got to be bigger than me. Whatever I'm gonna make has to be somehow something more than what I could have created just as a mortal human being. But like Mad Lib as well, you know, maybe. Mm. Yeah. I do my shit for me anyway first, for my health, and then people like it. Damn, thank you. I'm like trying to mix. When he started to make music, make music. Havoc, Ooh. just because Ooh, like, for yeah. me, shook ones, hell on mm. earth, like they was under they was underrated. He doesn't even get a mention as being a fucking producer. Yeah, man, but he was hard. Like, and, and the way he was making them back then, with mm. uh, you know, like using a tape player to record shit, and the fucking the shook ones when he's using the off the of the hob. You know what I'm saying? Explain to me for them. Explain. He sampled a hob, I swear, like to get that to get the hi hat. Because you know that is like the hardest... Yeah, I swear he did. That's I, like the hardest intro. Don't quote to... me on that, but I swear. Yeah, this is a hard yeah. intro, isn't it? Even if it's just the romance of me thinking that. Let's just go with that. Yeah, I'm going yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. First beat I made actually was on like a double cassette, you know, on radio. You know what I'm saying? They had the double cassette. You know what I mean? I'll just take beats from like the old radio stations that I used to listen to. They used to play all the old school shit. I used to listen to that. If it was like a break in it, I would like loop it and like record Play, record, play, record, rewind, rewind, play, whatever, whatever, da 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 da. MF Doom. Oh, yeah. For me. Because I knew he was an MF Doom fan, yeah. weren't you? He was Massive, yeah. Rest yeah. in peace, man. Rest like, in yeah. peace, MF Doom. That's, I mean, I put him in my top five yeah. uh, MCs as well. Like, uh, the lust is so the story, Brody and the Mr. Crowley. For those embarrassed to know holier than thou of holy habits. Y'all know who it is, the super villains. Metal Face Doom. Doing music for maybe 20 years or more now. Rhymes, instrumentals, cover as much of a spectrum musically as we can. Rizza. Oh! Like, I was a massive woo head, man. And, like, even, like, I was so deep, I was into, like, all the offshoots, like Killer Army, Grave Sons diggers, of Man, Great Diggers, yeah, 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 yeah. Something about RZA's production. Of a certain era as well, for yeah. me, anyway. But Do you can still I mean? listen to it now, like... Oh, oh no, of course, Ooh. but I mean, he had a sound in a certain era, is what I mean. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? The way he yeah. flipped the samples, like... Flipped them. Like, out of out of a musical tone, you know, like, not he didn't follow the rules. He's not even beat pattern. Mm, that's Some, what I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Just little cut-offs of yeah. just ends of... Eight bars, and it's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. just did that, and, and, and he got away with it. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Kung Fu movies, you know what I mean? The cool thing about sound is that many artists find their sounds from different walks. Me, I found my sound from living in New York City, from riding in the subway trains, watching old kung fu movies. Just the grit of New York in the 80s and 90s has something special about it. Yeah. 